hello guys welcome to another entertaining and educative video here on fom tv my name is fom here so today i want us to take a look at how to incubate and hatch your own snail eggs for maximum productivity so you realize that for some of us who do the greenhouse system of snail farming not all the eggs that will be laid by the snails will be able to hatch on them by themselves in the greenhouse so if you want to ensure a higher percentage of hatchability this is the best way to achieve that and so you might have to watch this video and pay attention to learn a thing or two so first of all you have to get some black soil and then make sure it is soft it is uniform it is fine then you go into your greenhouse and fetch the eggs from the greenhouse please not all the eggs will be laid on the surface of the greenhouse some of the snails will lay their eggs beneath the soil and so those ones if they are well um watered and kept well would hatch by themselves most of the time but those that are hatched on this that are laid on the surface of the soil normally find it difficult to hatch by themselves so this is what you're going to do you're going to go into the greenhouse and without touching the eggs with your bare hand use any material that is dry to get the sna snail eggs fetch the snail eggs from the greenhouse now they will be in several different places so you might have to it's a painstaking exercise so you take your time and then you collect all the eggs one after the other from the greenhouse you can see that i am also putting them on a cocoa yam leaf so i have not touched them with my bare hands in any way whatsoever so i uh, you can see i'm walking through the greenhouse trying to locate where the eggs have been laid and i'm trying to pick them as gently as i can you can see at this part there are a lot of snails here who are trying to bury themselves in the soil this client also um one of the advice was that the soil as you can see here looks quite dry it means that watering has not been going on very well they've not been sprinkling enough water in the greenhouse and that's uh, one recommendation we made to them we've already trained them on these things but you know sometimes um, you don't get it as you want your clients to take care of the greenhouse so we come back to our soil and we sprinkle some water on the soil make sure that it is um uh, moist enough it is wet um not too wet but at least it must be moist uh, humid enough so that we can kind of lay the eggs that we have collected from the greenhouse on the surface spread them spirally on the surface of this soil make sure that the soil is not worked logged the, i mean the soil that you are going to put the eggs on and so you can see this system is quite simple anybody at all or wherever you find yourself this is just a gallon we call it kufo gallon that we are using for this exercise again by the end of this video i'm going to show you another very simple way to of doing this thing so the this is just for demonstration the eggs that we collected we have put them on the surface of the soil and try to you know sprinkle a little bit of water on them the best tool or equipment for this is the small you know watering cans that you use for the florist normally use after that i just cover the soil and the eggs that have been put on the surface of the soil with this cocoa yam leaf and then after 21 days your eggs would have been hatched another very simple way to do this thing is also to find these type of food containers these white food containers that we usually call takeaway put your soil moist soil in there pick your snail eggs from the greenhouse or wherever and um, they've laid the snails have laid the eggs into punch holes on top of the container as much as possible to allow for air and then 
put your snail eggs in the soil and just cover it that is also a very simple way to you know hatch your snail eggs and i believe this is very useful so if you can look in this video you can see that the eggs that we have here the big eggs that you see in there are the eggs of the achachatina marginata and the pobre as we call them and then the small small eggs you see are the eggs of the achatina achatina and then um or the Enwapa or african giant snails as we call them and then mixed together so we have these different eggs mixed together but they all hatch in the same number of days and so what you do is that from this one to from time to time you just water them make them make sure they are moist they are fresh and then just cover them keep them in a cool dry place and after 21 days your eggs will be hatched so guys this is how you hatch your own eggs to ensure maximum productivity thank you for watching this video and see you again on another of our most educative videos. Bye-bye.